Did you know that there are 64 countries that are holding elections in 2024? That means that there are 64 countries where there are people that are in power right now that may not be by the end of the year. I don't think people realize the magnitude of how much people don't want to lose their power. There are very few people that will lose gracefully and just step to the side. There are many, many that will do whatever they can not to lose that power. Do you know why they don't want to lose that power? Because power is like a drug like anything else. So when you see a drug addict, a gambling addict, an alcoholic, all of those types of people have to increase their dosage in order to continue to get their fix. That Reggie doesn't do it for you anymore. That light beer doesn't do it for you anymore. That $20 bet that you threw down just for fun doesn't do it for you anymore. Trust me, I've been there before, before coming to the Lord. I was a big time gambling addict. I would be up like $100,000 and I would lose $2,000. So now I got 98. Well, I don't want to just put another 2000 back down because then I only get back to 100, which is where I was before. And there was already a high that was given to me at 100 and I didn't even want to put down 4,000 because then that would just get me to 102. And I felt like I was going to get at 102 before on the last bet. So now I'm just going to put down like 10 grand to see if I could get a big shot at things. Power is the same way. Once you have a certain amount of power and you're addicted to it, you want more of that power. And you do not want to ever go down in that power level. People that are in high realms of political positions feel a certain kind of power. And when they start to lose it, they will do anything that they possibly can to make sure they can continue to get their high. I can go on and on again about all the prophecies that have been spoken about the fall of Saul, rise of David, the old guard coming down, the new guard coming in, this old kingdom that represents all these people that are in high political positions that are coming down and new ones that are going up. When you see the story of Saul, Saul increasingly gets more desperate trying to kill David to prevent the new kingdom from coming in and him from going out. And that is what we're seeing right now in the world. We are seeing a power shift that's occurring on the earth that God has ordained in heaven already, and it's causing a stir. We have had earthquakes in many different places. There's one in New York City this morning. Uh, we have had wars all throughout this year. We've just came back from whatever happened in 2020 with the elections and COVID, and we've got Hollywood getting exposed with all these people getting arrested and, and, and exposure coming out to show where people really stand. Even people in the church that supposedly were these big mighty men of God that are being exposed. That's why the Lord also prophesied that this would be a season of the shakings. And he constantly brings up the story of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego in the fire. Because that fire represents a huge stir, a huge storm-like situation and Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego said, that's okay because I walk with the Lord and I'm confident of who I am in the Lord. So I'm going to walk into that fire. They walked out the other end of that fire and they were promoted. But the people that threw them into that fire were burnt up and killed and they didn't even touch the fire. It was just being too close to it. So what I'm ultimately coming to the conclusion of here in this message is that if you're walking with the Lord and you're doing everything right with the Lord, you're going to be risen up in this year. If you're not doing everything right with the Lord, you can get burned by the fire. I'm just telling you. And a lot of people already have and a lot of people are about to. And it's about to be a stirring type of season that we're in. But you hold on to the Lord. You stand on the rock. If you've got one foot or one pinky toe that's hanging off that rock, I'm telling you, you're going to feel the burn. Because you have to be completely centered on the Lord in this season. God bless you and have a good day.